welcome students today we will be studying unit photochemistry types of photochemical reactions so let us begin with the introduction first the chemical behavior of molecules depends on the most weakly bound electrons a molecule in the excited state differs from the ground state molecule with respect to both energy and electron wave function and therefore differs in its chemistry irradiation to produce an excited electronic state alters the reactivity of molecules in a number of ways which decide the nature of any photochemical reaction few photochemical reactions are discussed here photooxidation photoreduction photoaddition photoisomerization and photodissociations we'll be studying these all reactions in detail one by one today we'll be discussing only one photoreaction that is photoreduction in detail photoreduction photoreduction of carbonyl compounds gives one two diols with proton donor solvents like isopropyl alcohol toluene etc the most common example is the photoreduction of benzophenone leading to benz phenacol the reaction is carried out by irradiating a solution of benzophenone in isopropyl alcohol with light of a wavelength of 345 nm isopropyl alcohol does not absorb light at this wavelength but benzophenone undergoes nn pi star transition so here is the reaction the first is a benzophenone reacting with isopropyl alcohol in presence of light n part and pi star transition is taking place in benzophenone and the formation of benz phenacol is taking place the reaction can also be performed with a large number of aliphatic and aromatic ketones one more example is discussed here that is acetone reacts with isopropyl alcohol in the same manner and forms a diol in addition to isopropyl alcohol a variety of solvents such as toluene methanol etc have been used for carrying out reaction now let us study the mechanism part of this reaction in case of benzophenone the initial light absorption is followed by rapid intersystem crossing from s1 to t1 so here you can see ground state of benzophenone it absorbs light photon and a singlet excited state of benzophenone is formed now this singlet excited state undergoes intersystem crossing to form triplet excited state of benzophenone the carbonyl n pi star triplet is capable of abstracting the alpha hydrogen 
of isopropyl alcohol thus giving rise to two radicals so you can see the equation here the triplet state of benzophenone reacts with isopropyl alcohol abstracts alpha hydrogen of isopropyl alcohol giving rise to two radicals fifth and sixth that is fifth is diphenyl hydroxymethyl radical or benzophenone ketyl and sixth is 2 hydroxypropyl radical acetone ketyl now combination of two units of fifth leads to benz pinacol so in this reaction you can see two units of fifth that is benzophenone ketyl are combining to form benzo benz pinacol since the quantum yield for benz pinacol formation is about 1 the second unit of fifth does not form as a result of the absorption of a fresh quantum of light rather it is generated by the reaction between benzophenone and sixth that is acetone ketyl so here is the reaction acetone ketyl plus benzophenone give rise to benzophenone ketyl and the combination of two units of fifth leads to benz pinacol benz pinacol formation can also be achieved by irradiating benzophenone and benz hydrol in benzene solution so benzophenone plus benz hydrol in benzene solution gives ra in presence of light gives rise to benz pinacol let us read the mechanism mechanism of this uh, reaction the mechanism of this reaction is similar to that of the above except that there is simultaneous formation of two radicals which subsequently dimerize and form benz pinacol so here is the reaction again the same process benz um, benzophenon in the ground state absorb photon and is excited to singlet excited state which undergoes intersystem crossing to form triplet excited state of benzophenon so here is triplet excited state of benzophenone plus benz hydrol in benzene solution giving rise to two radicals which dimerize and form benz pinacol second evidence for the participation of excited triplet state in benz pinacol formation one evidence is the observation that the rate of benz pinacol formation 
is not appreciably decreased when the reaction is carried out with lesser amounts of benzhydrol in benzene solution. This means that the excited state of benzophenone involved in the reaction is a sufficiently long-lived species capable of waiting for benzhydrol molecule. It should therefore be a T1 state rather than an S1 species. Another evidence rests on quenching studies. Addition of small amount of naphthalene to the irradiation mixture reduces the quantum yield to a significant extent. Since naphthalene does not absorb light of the wavelength needed for an n pi star excitation in benzophenone, it is obviously an example of energy transfer in which excited benzophenone molecule returns to the ground state with the simultaneous excitation of naphthalene. Naphthalene thus acts as quencher. Benzophenone must be in a triplet state which only has a sufficiently long life to undergo collisions for the observed energy transfer with very low concentrations of naphthalene. Thank you so much. So today we studied photoreduction reaction in detail. Next we are going to take other types of photochemical reactions that is photoaddition, photoisomerization, photooxidation and photodissociation. Thank you so much.